Hey YouTubers, in this lesson we're going to make a TV and basically the whole point of this TV is to be able to use the um, TV with a green, built in green screen and then use this for our uh, HitFilm Pro activities. So I've already drawn one up here, pretty basic, let's we'll just talk about it real fast. So basically we're going to extrude a rectangular shape um, depending on how thick the TV you want to go with obviously uh, is some information you'll need to pull and the overall width and height um, is something to find out and most of these TVs these days have almost zero border around them um, but I wanted to put a little logo on the bottom so um, make sure it would fit I made it somewhat fat. Um, we could have done this a little differently and made it narrower around the, the sides and the top and made it fatter in the bottom, which is probably like most uh, most TVs are. Computer monitors seem to be a little different where they are uh, seem to be pretty much the same um, around them. All right, so we created that rectangular extrusion. Then I cut out a little bit. Um, which allows me inside of Autodesk Inventor to assign two different types of appearances um, and then from there we will um, we'll do some texturing and then I will drop in a Sony logo uh, from JPEG these are all things that if you've watched all the lessons up to this point you should be able to do Final thing I'll do is uh, probably save this OBJ so I can use it for HitFilm Pro. And then from there we'll go into a HitFilm Pro exercise, uh, which will be a separate video. All right, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is File, New, Create Part. And then we're going to Extrude. I'm going to sketch on my XY plane. I'm going to go with the two point center rectangle, which is the most efficient. Oops, you got to click on it first. It's probably the most efficient way to draw your rectangles, as it will center our sketch on both um, the X and Y axes. I need to dimension this. I believe this is supposed to be 31.5. and this guy is 53.5 we're making a 60 inch Sony TV obviously there's a bunch of different dimensions out there what it could be um, this is what we're gonna go with though alright finish sketch now some of these TVs are super thin and some of them are um, you know up to three and a half inches I want to make this thing uh, half inch thick all right, so there is basically an extruded shape. I'm going to come in now and I'm going to uh, cut out where the actual picture portion is going to be. And I'm going to continue to just center this so the, um, the border is the same all the way around. And we will... <laughs> may have to play with this a little bit that may not be enough of a border um, but we can always make the logo super thin all right or we can make it a little bigger on top and bottom uh, we could have sketched this up higher and dimensioned as well which may make it look a little more like actual TVs are. I'm going to extrude, this time I'm going to remove material. I'm just going to remove eighth of an inch and that gives us that. So next thing we're going to do is go to tools, appearances, and I've decided on the outside I'm going to go with something textured um, you know if you're just gonna stay inside of mechanical inventor 
you would stick with something like uh, just regular old black. Um, but when I take this out of there, if it doesn't have the, uh, I want to have some kind of texture. Um, and so if you know anything about HitFilm Pro, you'll kind of understand why I'm, I'm going about this the way I am. All right, to hold more than, uh, select more than one surface, control button. And then I'm going to, I have to drag this up here. Sign to selection. And that's actually kind of a cool look there. We've got to get the outside, inside. There's faster ways to do this than I'm doing, but when you're a beginner, this is usually how you do these things. So all right, I'm gonna flip it over. I need to get the uh, the sides, which I probably haven't got yet. Yeah. That one. We need to get the back too. I probably got top there, I haven't got. So we need that, we need that. All right. So hopefully we've gotten all of those selected. Now for the screen, it needs to have, um, Gonna give it a color. We'll go with dark green. This looks like the closest thing to a green screen color that is in here. All right, so there's that. Now, last thing to do is put our Sony logo on this thing. And let me save this real fast. So I've already made one of these. So to embed a image, um, this way we're going to do the Sony logo. We could extrude a Sony logo, but um, a lot of times it's just you know paint on there. Um, sometimes it's actually something that's extruded from it. And this obviously is not an assembly, like a real TV would be an assembly, but um, sometimes, you know, you just want to create things as simple, um, an image basically, a, um, something to reflect that object and not necessarily go through all the time it would create to take to create a real TV set. All right, so we're going to do a 2D sketch. We're going to put it on this surface. And then we're going to go over to image. We're going to select this uh, Sony clip one that I did. And I just have to get close because um, in a second it's going to allow me to trim this down. So. To get out of this, you see this thing's still active. I could drop in a bunch of Sony's if I wanted to. Um, I would right click, click OK, and then I'm going to grab this thing and make it smaller. Now I'm going to drag it into place, hopefully having centered it. Then we'll zoom in. We want this thing to be perfect. now. Question is, can you dimension to this object? And that is something that you are able to do. So that's kind of a nice thing. Um, and it also appears that I'm able to um, change the dimensions on this thing if I wanted to. We'll keep that and we'll keep that. So just in case we change it later. Oh, cancel out of that one. 
All right. So now we're going to uh, save this. Oop. You always have to finish sketch mode. And then I'm going to save. And I'm going to export this as an OBJ into my 3D objects area and hit save. And that's basically all I have for this one. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe.